we just kind of stop trying? Because no one's hearing it. The other, or a couple of days ago, months ago actually, I was in a pizza shop and um, I was eating dinner and the rest of the shop, it was pretty full, was eating dinner and in this particular pizza shop, the trash cans are kind of in the middle. And a man walks in and starts rummaging through the trash and I'm not sure if he was looking for dinner, or if he was looking for cans or what, but what I am sure of is that no one blinked an eye. No one looked over at the man and certainly no one got up and did anything about it. And I think it's because most of the people in that room thought, wow, you know, this is normal. What can I do about this? The normalcy of poverty caused us not to do anything, not to act. And as I sat there, disgusted with myself and with the people in the room, I thought, well, Britt, what, what do you wish had happened? And there is the commonplace reaction of a good civilian getting up and saying, hey, can I get you a slice of pizza, sir? Um, and that's great, and there's nothing wrong with individual acts of kindness. I think those are beautiful, but Maybe that man would have woken up the next day and he would still have been hungry. So what would have happened if we all got up and with this man discussed, what can we do about the mass poverty and inequality in Los Angeles? And we discussed options and we reached out to political organizers and leaders and we fought against the inequality and the poverty that exists here. What happens when people are so sick and tired of their dehumanization because of the color of their skin that they gather together? What happens when people are sick and tired of their land getting taken away for greed and wealth that they gather together? What happens when people are sick and tired of being discriminated against in the job world because they've already done their time and they should be able to work wherever they want? And what happens when people are sick and tired of being looked at differently because of the way they grew up and maybe things that happened to them? Black Lives Matter happens. The Dakota Pipeline protest happens. The Fair Chance Ordinance happens and is going to be voted on very shortly. And Homeboy Industries is created. So a lot of times I'll ask myself, hey, hey Britt, what can you do about the injustices in this world? And honestly, the answer is, Brittany, you can't do much. So maybe my question needs to change from what can I do to what can we do? You know, an ant in this world is so small and it feels overwhelmed by the weight and the heaviness of all that goes on. But when the ant goes with its colony, it is so strong. And it creates a society. And it can create change in that society. So with the vote coming up and with all that's going on in the world, I know it's really easy to feel small. I know it's really easy to feel weighed down and hopeless. But remember that through community action, our voices are loud. And the reality is most of us in this room could not vote some time ago. And the people that came before us gathered together and their collective voices were heard. And think about that with the upcoming national election, but also your local elections. You know, and think about that when you feel so hopeless with every person that gets killed in the street, and you feel so hopeless when you're trying to get jobs. Think about collective action and how loud our voices are. And our collective actions speak louder than words. Definitely. Thank you.